So in the recent past, we have witnessed several cases where the Office of the Director of Criminal Investigations and other government agencies have attempted to prefer criminal charges against advocates over alleged offenses committed by advocates in the course of their discharge of professional duties to their clients. We are concerned that this increased trend is intended to frustrate the ability of our members to render competent services to the public and that the actions constitute a threat to the rule of law and the administration of justice. We wish to refer to an event that occurred on Friday last week and the background of it is that on the 20th of July 2022, a company known as Munyoro, or Munyoro Investment Limited, instituted proceedings at the Land and Environment Court at Nairobi under case number E242 of 2022 against one John Michael Ogas and Columbus 2000 Limited in a claim of ownership over property reference number 209 of one stroke 12077. Also listed as one of the defendants in the case was the chief land registrar. The case was responded to th through a statement of defense and counterclaim by the firm of Ombok and Award Company Advocates LLP and which firm had been retained by Mr. Ogas and Columbus 2000 Limited for purposes of defending the suit. While the dispute is pending determination in court, the DCI decided to summon several key witnesses in the case for alleged investigations into the validity of documents relied on as evidenced by Mr. Ohas and Columbus 2000. Among those summoned were Mr. Ohas' son and co-director of Columbus 2000 uh, Limited, Mr. James Hillary Paul Otieno, and Mr. Bernard Ongechi, one of the witnesses who was lined up to testify on behalf of Mr. Ohas. The case was scheduled for hearing on the 21st and 22nd of June, but on the 16th of March, of June, sorry, of June 2023, the advocates for the plaintiff wrote and informed the other parties that the deputy president, who is a witness in the case, was unavailable to testify due to his work schedule and indicated that he would be seeking an adjournment on that ground. On the 16th of June, 2023, Mr. Moses Award Advocate visited the Milimani Law Courts where Mr. James Hillary Paul Otieno had been detained for purposes of representing him in court. He was arrested and charged under police file case number 122 stroke 225 stroke 2023 on account of several accusations similar to and in addition to those against Mr. James Ohas. The charges against Mr. War included uttering a false document contrary to section uh, uh, 353 of the penal code. He was also charged with three counts of making a document without authority contrary to section 357A of the Penal Code, and also charged with a charge of involvement in a conspiracy to defraud, contrary to section 317 of the Penal Code. It goes without saying that this is a well choreographed plan by the DPP and the DCI to invalidate the documents in support of the case 
and give undue advantage to Wamunyoro Investment Limited, whose director is the Deputy President, the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, and therefore deprive of the dependent of the defendants of their justiciable claim over the property. The best practice in such cases is to defer any criminal charges until after the conclusion of the civil crime to prevent a situation where the High Court and the criminal court arrive at two different conclusions. This is a time-honored tradition and therefore the failure to observe such basic rules points to an ulterior motive that is intended to defeat the cause of justice. These actions are not an isolated incident. We have received several complaints where the Office of the Director of Criminal Investigations have recommended charges against advocates for discharging their professional duty. Indeed, we have severally had to intervene with the Director of Public Prosecution to stop such intended prosecutions. The common denominator in all those cases is the fact that the charges are intended to aid one party in a civil dispute over the other party. Regrettably, those charges have been approved by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions despite, despite the fact that those advocates have complied with internationally recognized standards of profe uh, professional duties, standards of practice and ethics. Further to this, the United Nations basic principles on the role of lawyers requires the government to ensure that lawyers are able to perform all of their professional functions without intimidation, hindrance, harassment, or improper interference, and that advocates shall not suffer or be threatened with prosecution or administrative, economic, or other sanctions for any action taken in accordance with recognized professional duties, standards, and ethics.